The mid-range smartphone market is heating up, and Xiaomi's Mi 5S Plus is a strong contender with its high-end Snapdragon 821 processor. Find out what compromises you'll make if you pick up this $450 smartphone. <laughs> The Xiaomi Mi 5S Plus is 5.7 inches and it carries with it a spec sheet that rivals any of today's flagship smartphones. A Snapdragon 821 processor with 4GB of RAM, IPS display, a dual camera setup on the back with 4K video, a massive 3800mAh battery with quick charge, global LTE, and a fingerprint scanner. You can't fault the fluid performance of the A21 processor, and across multiple handsets, we're seeing several hour gains in battery life. This big battery coupled with the 1080p display means you're easily gonna get through the day if you're a heavy user. The IPS display is bright at 650 nits, and it has high contrast with good color accuracy and viewing angles. That the display can drop all the way down to one nit means that watching movies in bed will be very comfortable. In hand, the textured back and curved sides are comfortable and feel very grippable. Mi UI 8 is a clean light shell on top of Android Marshmallow and it offers a lot of customization options. The dual space and dual apps option are really nice for a work play environment. When it comes to sound, I do have a complaint. It's rare to say that a headphone jack has poor quality, but the volume levels often fluctuate as does the clarity. When it comes to the speaker, however, it's loud and clear at all levels, and that could be thanks to the amp, and it's definitely good enough to share videos or music with. Our rebellion is all that remains to push back the empire. I think you might be able to help us. When it comes to the camera, we have classic mid-range performance. There is good dynamic range, but when lighting conditions aren't perfect, you see that things quickly lack detail when you zoom in which might have to do with the small size of the sensor on the camera. The dual camera setup works quite well. Processing times aren't the quickest, but the results are worth the wait. The mono shots are great, but they're not in the same league as the monochrome Leica shooter on the P9. When it comes to selfies, we have Xiaomi's classic beauty mode, and even though the front-facing camera is only four megapixel, it still does a pretty good job. This poor video performance might have something to do with the camera lacking optical image stabilization, which is a real shame in my books. The lack of OIS also contributes to less clear photos in low light. The other shortcomings of the Mi 5S Plus are that it doesn't have a micro SD card, the display isn't Gorilla Glass, and though it's called scratch resistant, we've seen from the Redmi 4 Prime that it's not really scratch resistant. The Xiaomi Mi 5S is a great smartphone for the price. The processor and battery life make it easy to recommend. The camera is good enough, though personally I'd want something that offered a more solid point and shoot experience. Lacking a micro SD card isn't a deal breaker if you get the 128GB version, and as long as you put on a screen protector, the handset feels rugged enough. But where I find fault is the poor audio quality in the headphone jack. I spend too much time listening to music on my phone not to have a high quality reliable experience. Have any questions about the Mi 5S Plus? Leave them in the comments. If you haven't already subscribed to Mobile Geeks, why don't you go ahead and do that right after you like this video? I'm your host, Nicole Scott. Yeah.